Lovelies, so it's time to make a literacy choice for today. And you can pick any of the literacy choices that are on the e-learning website, or maybe you just want to read some Raz Kids or research on Epic a little bit, check out Scholastic.com. There's lots of cool things that you can choose from. But I decided that I wanted to work on my realistic fiction writing. So I left my story at school, so I was trying to remember. Maybe you guys can help me. I thought it would be easy to kind of rethink. So I remembered that my characters were Ruby and Ollie. And if you remember, I already wrote one story that had Ruby and Ollie in it. And they were playing fetch in the park and Ollie got lost. Um, and then I really liked those characters a lot. And so what some uh, authors do when they write stories is that they write a series. If they find a character that they really like and then they reuse those characters and they put them in new situations, maybe new settings, maybe new problems, and they tell more stories with them. Kind of like in the Magic Treehouse with Jack and Annie, where that author used those characters in the Magic Treehouse series. So I decided I'm using my same characters again. Maybe you really liked your characters and you want to use them again. Or maybe you picked different characters that you wanted to use. Uh, I think I remember Marina did something really cool. She had a character named Lola in her first story, and then in her second story, she had a new character, but the new character was friends with Lola. So that's a cool idea that you guys could try too. My setting this time is a rainy day and inside their house. And then my problem is going to be because it's a rainy day, they are so bored. There's nothing to do. So I started thinking of a couple of solutions because, remember, really good writers, we want to slow down our story. We want to make it really suspenseful so that the reader is saying, what's going to happen next? And they're excited to keep reading. So we don't want to just solve our problem right immediately. That would be way boring. So I thought of two ways that I might try to solve my problem. Maybe they will play a game or maybe they'll play hide and seek. I drew Ollie as hiding behind a plant there. But I'm not sure. Maybe you guys could suggest some more ways that I could solve my problem. So I started doing my writing, and what I did was I just rewrote my first page that we already wrote together at school. So I have, it was a gloomy and rainy day. Ruby and Ollie were looking out the window. So on your first page of your story, what it's usually a good idea to do is you want to kind of tell what the setting is. So I, exp I was telling the weather. It's gloomy and rainy. I was kind of showing that they're inside their house. They're looking out the window. They're sitting on the couch. You also want to tell who your characters are. So I said Ruby and Ollie. And then I drew them in the picture too. And then you don't just want to say immediately what the problem is. Because remember, you want your story to be exciting for your reader. You want to slow it down a little bit. So I said what they were doing. I said they were looking out the window. Now, another way that really good writers can slow down their stories and make them exciting is by adding dialogue. Do you guys remember what that word dialogue means? Does that give you a hint? Dialogue is big fancy word that just means people in your story are talking to each other. And there's two ways that you can add dialogue in your story. The first way is that you can add speech bubbles. So I put speech bubbles to show that my characters are talking. The second way is you can add quotation marks. So quotation marks are those little lines that go around the word that the person talking is saying. This is kind of tricky, but you might notice that it says, I'm bored, said Ruby. And I put the marks around the words, I'm bored, because those are the words that Ruby said. If I was going to make a speech bubble, those are the words I would put inside. Ruby didn't say, said Ruby. I just had to put that in my story so my reader would know that she said it. So I wrote, I'm bored, said Ruby. There is nothing to do. I put an exclamation point because, oh, she is so bored. Ollie said, bark, bark, because he's a dog and dogs don't really talk. So that was how I added dialogue into my story to kind of slow it down and make it a little more suspenseful so that I'm not solving my problem right away. Now, I think on my next page, I'm going to be ready to start either setting up my problem or telling my reader what my problem is and uh, 
finding a solution to this problem. So I'm going to go and work on my writing. Maybe you can work on your writing too. I'd love it if you could share it with me and show me what you guys are working on. And then maybe at the end of the day today, I can show you what I did in my writing, okay? Bye first grade. Happy writing.